Okay, I'm going to really show you, uh, really quickly show you how to use macros in Massive. Because after my last video, lots of people have asked me. So I'll do a very, very quick one, very simple, but you'll get the idea. Um, for example, on this synth here, um, well, and actually you can just hear it. That's there, and I'm just tuning the macro knob. Okay, so I'll show you how I made that sound. Sort of a progressive house stab sound. So, new sound. Okay, push up to filter 1. Pull down to minus 12. Minus 7. Turn on oscillator 2. Right, so we got that there. Put this off to low pass four. Bring it down. Bring the resonance down to there. Okay. Um, come to the envelope number one. Grab that box there. Assign it to the cutoff. Put it right around to about there. Um, bring the attack down a little bit. Bring the level down. That's, that's the sustain, basically. There you go. There's our stabbing sound already. Okay. Now then, we're going to use this... Well, we, don't worry about number one. We're going to use number two as the macro that I'm going to demonstrate how you use them. Again, a macro. You can assign this macro to multiple knobs. And when you turn this one macro knob, it's turning all of those knobs that you assign this macro to. Okay, so let's just get, you can get creative here. We'll put one on the cutoff. We'll put one on this decay here. Okay. We'll, um, sorry, I also forgot to turn the unison up to four. Put the pan position We'll put it there, I'll show you why. Yeah, it's sounding better. Okay. Um, and then, you can hear it's a lot wider now. Put the pan position... Uh, you put the, uh, the knob here. Push up this way. So as we're getting... As the synth's getting fuller, it's going to be pushing this yellow line to the end here so it's getting even wider and then you can get creative turn the EQ on you can have it so as it, the knob opens up it, so it gives it a more powerful sound gives it some more high end some more low end you can even be tricky and set it so it has some delay, so I put that there's like one and four, some stereo delay, um, one and eight, and if we assign this to all of these, like so, pull the dry wet down to there. Now then. So, no delay yet, but once we open the macro, it'll push all those knobs to the end of their yellow assigned line. And why not, for some good sake, put some dimension expander in there. Again, push it. We'll make it so that as we're pushing this, opening this knob, the whole sound's getting bigger. So that's how you use the macro knob. You make your synth, and then if you want, oh actually, another good trick with the sound, <clears throat> another very cool trick with the sound, is if you come into here with, and with the release. Yeah, about there. Yeah, 
use the release as well. I use the release. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so you make your synth, then you assign, and then you play with multiple, you know, of the knobs and the parameters, you see which ones sound really cool when you automate them, and to make things simple, you can assign them all with one macro knob. So if I um, name this whatever, like, grow, because that's what happens when you... Uh, adjust this knob here, the whole sound grows. Okay, so if you just assign this knob to many cool things like the cutoff um, and some effects, the release, when you go to automate it within within your, your computer program, whatever you're using, you can just go and find in all the list of parameters, just go and find macro 2 which will be named grow and then you only have to automate one line. Okay, so that's how you use macros. I have I've got a little thing, but I've got another little beat here that I'm going to show you how I am um, made. It is, I guess, what you call complexro. So I have coming that coming up very soon, which I know a bomb load of people have wanted to know more and more stuff about complexro uh, complex tutorials. So I have got one of those coming out. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. <laughs>